Hallo und willkommen. Ich bin Meister Lenze and you're watching Get Germanized is Rock am Ring, the best music festival in Germany. Get I have been to the Rock am Ring Festival 2018 together with my friends Vlog Dave, Haki and also other people that we met on the campsite itself. Lovely people, beautiful people. Gonna show you well our trip and tell you some facts about the Rock am Ring Festival itself in between and at the end you can decide if Rock am Ring is really the best music festival in Germany. Yesterday you told me about the blue, blue sky and all that I can see is just here. another lemon tree. And I wonder, hey. wonder. The Rock am Ring, German for Rock at the Ring, and the Rock im Park, Rock in the Park festivals, are two simultaneous rock music festivals held annually. While Rock am Ring takes place at the Nürburgring racetrack, the Rock im Park takes place at the Zeppelin Feld in Nuremberg. Both festivals are usually regarded as one event, with a mostly identical lineup for both festivals. All artists perform one day at the Nürburgring and another day in Nuremberg during the three day event. There have been a few minor exceptions though, where one artist was only announced for one of the festivals. Combined, Rock im Park and Rock am Ring are the largest music festivals held in Germany and one of the largest in the world with a combined attendance of over 150,000 people. And often, at least one of the festivals is sold out. Rock am Ring was originally planned as a one-time only festival on the Nürburgring celebrating the inauguration of a newer, shorter version of the racetrack in 1985. But due to its commercial success with about 75,000 audience members, it was decided to make the concert an annual event. This is our first festival of 2018! <laughs> However, after a dip in attendance for the 1988 event, the festival was put to rest. In 1991, the festival returned with a new concept. As well as featuring well-known artists, event organizers presented lesser-known up-and-coming bands to the public. In 1993, Rock and Park took place for the first time in Vienna. For the 1994 event, Rock and Park moved to the disused Munich Riem Airport and the following year to Munich's Olympiastadion, where it found a home for the 1995 and 1996 event. 1997 Rock am Park moved to Nuremberg's Frankenstadion, where it was held until the venue was unavailable in 2004, because the stadium was being renovated for the 2006 Football World Cup. Since 2004, the venue moved again to the current Zeppelinfeld, where Rock am Park was since held with the exception of the 2006 festival, which was moved to the Luitpoldhain. The 2007 festival was used in a science experiment to test the effects of large bodies of people simultaneously jumping. The experiment data was used to calculate the result if the entire Chinese population were to jump in unison. The experiment concluded no significant results would come from the theoretical event. After 29 editions of Rock am Ring, the new owner of the Nürburgring decided that the contract would not be extended. The festival continued at another location in 2015 and 2016 at the Mendig Air Base, returning to the Nürburgring in 2017. Over the years, pretty much any band you can think of has played the Rock am Ring or the Rock am Park. Metallica, Aerosmith, Van Halen, Brian Adams, Elton John, Pearl Jam, Rage Against the Machine, Rammstein, Radiohead, Nina Hagen, The Smashing Pumpkins, The Sisters of Mercy, David Bowie, Eurythmics, Udo Lindenberg, Simple Minds, Talk Talk, Weezer, Slipknot, Mudvayne, Wir sind Helden, Papa Roach, Linkin Park, Die Ärzte, Slayer, Evanescence, Sportfreunde Stiller, Bring Me The Horizon, Mando Diao, The Gaslight Anthem, Billy Talent, Machinette, Marilyn Manson, the Offspring, Skrillex, 30 Seconds to Mars, The Prodigy and many more. As you can see on the overview map, there are a lot of camping grounds, a lot of parking spots, parking spots for caravans, for, well, motorbikes, even for bicycles. And there's a taxi stand, a kiss and ride 
parking spot. I am not 100% sure what that means. I have not visited that. There is, of course, a, a parking spot for visitors with disabilities. We got a police station there. We got a medic tent. We even got a Blitzschutzzone. Difficult German word, by the way, if you want to say that three times fast. Blitzschutzzone, Blitzschutzzone, Blitzschutzzone. Damn it. Um, that means it is protected against lightning in case of a thunderstorm, which we definitely experienced this year, 2018, at the Rock am Ring. The first night that we slept there was just intense. The lightning was coming down in a, well, one second interval and it, it wasn't pretty. I mean, it, it was kind of scary because you were in your tent and it was like 4 a.m. in the middle of the night and uh, only the app told people to go anywhere, well, to safety basically. I mean, at least it, it said, please go to the Blitzschutzzone. Um, we didn't in the end because we thought, oh, it must be over in a second, but it took quite a while until the whole thunderstorm was gone. But yeah, at least they got Blitzschutzzonen, damn it. And they got a supermarket. We haven't actually seen it ourselves because we had everything we needed with us already. But in case you need to go shopping during your trip there, go to the supermarket. They got one. They got different party tents. Uh, I think that is the Rock Square, but I'm not 100% sure because, I mean, to be honest, when you come back from the festivals, from the different concerts, and you stand all day long and, and dance and jump and do stuff until midnight or later. Some, I think the last concerts ended at like 3 a.m. sometimes. And I mean, my respect to the people who can, in addition to that, party and dance somewhere else. So that wasn't for us, really. Of course, when you attend the Rock am Ring Festival, you will be the proud owner of a festival wristband. And this year it is not only one. You get one for the actual, um, well, concert area where you can go and listen to music. And then there was one, a yellow one for the actual camping ground so you can only move around there freely if you have one of those camping wristbands. They have an info point so if you need to know anything about the Rock am Ring or if you just want to ask someone something that knows what he's talking about, well the info point is where you need to go. Also they got a Fund Büro which means a lost and found office so if you lose anything and someone hands it in, if you're lucky, then it might be there. They even got lockers, Schließfächer that you can use for a small uh, amount of money. I'm not 100% sure how much because I didn't really use it. They got a smartphone docking and loading station. Basically what you can do, you can load your phone. Yeah, that, that's it. And another cool thing they had if you bought a little power bank at one of their booths, they would, if you hand in the empty one afterwards, they would just give you a charged one. Basically you rent the power bank for that duration. So that is a pretty cool thing to do since um, at the green camping area for example where we were there was no generators allowed no um, electricity to plug your phone in unless you have your own power bank with you or something else to charge it with that brings me to the different camping grounds they had the green camping where we were was well basically you had to be quiet in the middle of the night at the other camping ground sometimes they would blast music all night long from all directions and you can't really sleep that well so we thought to ourselves, well, let's let's treat ourselves and let's go to the green camping area. I was a bit worried that it would be a bit boring since oh, maybe all the old people only go there or something like that. But I mean, <clears throat> yeah, all the old people, right? But it wasn't like that at all. It was actually almost the exact same experience from, well, my comparison to the events that I've attended before. Just that there was peace and quiet in the middle of the night, which I really appreciated. Also, you're not allowed to leave anything behind, like your tent, your uh, pavilion, however you say that in, in English. Basically, what, this thing that you sit underneath and that protects you from the rain and, and stuff like that. So just don't leave anything behind. It's not allowed. No trash. They have trash points where you can bring your trash bags, but people still left stuff behind to be quite honest there was still so much trash but not nearly as much as on the other camping grounds i'm pretty sure at the festival itself um, even in the green camping area they did have normal water toilets they did have a shower area with separated showers for men and women 
and you could buy a ticket for the showers like for the entire weekend i think it was like what 15 euros maybe or maybe even a little bit less i don't remember it was worth it though i showered basically every day and i still got sick after the festival to be quite honest like i was sick for two and a half weeks it really got to me all these people and all their viruses <laughs> but i mean that didn't happen to everyone so don't worry too much about that it's just i mean wherever there's a lot of people there's a lot of sickness going around as well so i was just unlucky And as I mentioned, they did have uh, the water toilets as well. And they were for free, actually. You didn't have to pay anything for those. Of course, they also have your porter potties that you know from, well, other festivals, I guess, or construction sites. They do have a lot of those and they clean them, I think, at least once a day, twice a day. I think it must be twice a day or even more, maybe, depending on how many people fill them up. <clears throat> But yeah, that, <laughs> that was the less nice part of the festival, of course. But all in all, it was really good. Like the sanitation area there, this, the, how, do you, how do you say that? The bathroom areas were good. And they had different booths where you could buy breakfast. I, I didn't really because, like I said, we had everything we needed. I think if you would go there without a tent, without anything, you could still get anything that you needed that you need there at the supermarket or at the different booths and of course camping is not mandatory if you don't want to camp there you don't have to our friend Yasuo our friend from Tokyo he didn't feel like camping and so he stayed at a hotel and you can do that as well if you want to since some of the camping grounds are a little bit far away from the actual concert area there are shuttle buses that you can use and you also will have to purchase a ticket for those. They basically uh, go forth and back to and from the concert area all day long. So you don't have to worry about not getting back after the last concert. My personal highlight of the festival was probably meeting all these cool people that we camped with. Hi, hello. <laughs> basically what happened was we set up our camp, asked them if we could camp there and then well, we got to talk with them, two people two more people and then two more people that came after us actually and asked if they could camp next to us and uh, we made a lot of new friends it was really cool hopefully we're gonna see him again next year and uh, band wise my highlight probably would have to be Muse <laughs> I would have thought it would be the Foo Fighters and even though they were completely fantastic and amazing Muse just had an even better live show they just blew my mind I mean I've seen them before but I forgot how good they were live like they were just near perfection I would say it was so great if you like the band definitely see them live they are amazing and uh, like I said the Foo Fighters were amazing as well unluckily for us for me especially since I've never seen the Foo Fighters before that day Dave Grohl was a little bit sick, he almost didn't have a voice. I mean it was a memorable experience because he's such a cool guy. He still did his very best to sing all the songs regardless. He explained to us even like I'm the guy that played a festival with a broken leg and now I'm not gonna stop this one just because of a little cold that I got from my daughter. And he explained how well she asked him for a kiss and he said no I can't I have to play a show. And she was like oh daddy kiss. And then he gave her a kiss and next thing he knew he was sick so that's how that happened i mean like i said it was still amazing sadly they did have to end the show 20 minutes early but that was fine with me it was still amazing and other cool bands that um, we've seen were baby metal hollywood undead i've seen them before but they were pretty cool this time around as well and of course a perfect circle which some of the fans or the people around us didn't really seem to have appreciated as much as I would have liked just because they were probably waiting for Stone Sour which were amazing to be honest but a perfect circle were really good as well but I guess the kind of music is a bit specific and those who just want really 
hard metal, they might not like it as much. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, people said, oh no, no encore, and they, they showed thumbs down and stuff like that. And I was just thinking, how disrespectful is that? And I really didn't like that, but I enjoyed the concert and nevertheless, they did their best as well. They were really good and they are gonna return apparently to the Rock am Ring as well. That's at least what Maynard James Keenan said at the end of his performance. So all in all a very good festival, a lot of fun. Hope you're gonna well experience it yourself one day and for me it is definitely one of the best if not the best festival in Germany. But what do you think? Do you agree with me or do you think well no there's definitely something else another festival that I think deserves the title of best festival in Germany. Let me know in the comments, uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you haven't yet. Uh, consider supporting me on Patreon, social media links in the video description and apart from that, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to get Germanized, goodbye and auf Wiedersehen.